Hello there everyone, Robert here and I'm back with another video tutorial. In this case, I actually just want to highlight a new feature Wix Studio release with Glass Effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and like just skip a lot of it. I just want to go ahead and really just dive right in. I know myself tend, tend to be a bit verbose and go on a little bit, but I always like kind of doing a little bit of a deep dive, checking out the features, how it kind of sort of works, some tips and tricks that you might want to do. Uh, alternative uses to this specifically as well and just maybe some outside of the box things just kind of going into it so again i'm already here kind of within wix studio and you can kind of see i have here kind of coincidentally enough a uh, feature like a section that was kind of pre-designed on here you can see here's the kind of original version and this was an asset that was available like just kind of pre-built as a hero section and again, I think it's kind of clever what they were trying to do here, I guess, because there's this kind of glass element kind of going on in the background. They kind of tried to emulate a glass effect here with this container box, but really what they just have here is like kind of a background and the opacity set down a little bit. So again, it's kind of trying to emulate a glass effect, but as you can see here now in the inspector panel for containers and certain like containers basically like a section and things you can actually add a glass effect so it's pretty cool what it does is then you can choose to have the like like how intense the opacity or like how intense the blur is and again it still kind of functions in line with the background so i have it up here actually with kind of a like no white just pure blur intensity and you can decide exactly how intense you want. Again, if we do add like colors to it, like, like kind of like a blue, and granted you don't want it to be completely like 100%, otherwise you don't really necessarily get the effects. Maybe like, yeah, like not really at all. Like around maybe like halfway through, you'll see kind of the difference that it makes. But interestingly, again, you can combine it with other colors if you want to. But it's kind of cool. You don't necessarily then need things like CSS, though that is still an option that you can do. Uh, it's kind of the first results that I see. And I know a lot of people who have been doing this in headers and in other containers, kind of having that glass effect. Now you don't need to get something like this. Or again, so credit to Mike Trumpa here. I'll link this in the video. But again, very cool. So again, if you want to maybe just quickly see, okay, cool. Here's kind of what I need. I want it like this. I want these colors. I want like an outline maybe specifically. Again, and then the CSS is provided to you and you can add custom CSS to elements within Wix, certain elements. Uh, again, just enable coding. You can go to global CSS, give custom classes if you want to, or just apply it to everything specifically and just paste in your CSS and it'll work. So let me comment this out. I should, I should probably go. And again, now it kind of looks like this without the custom CSS. I'll just add it back in. Take a second to kind of render, but we'll see it updated. Uh, most of them usually live within the editor. So again, pretty interesting. I added it to a lot of sections just to kind of see, and you, a lot of the ones that had been designed out already and just kind of seeing what's the difference with just the opacity. I think it looks kind of nice also having like a little bit of shadow really to kind of make it strike out a little bit more so. And even just kind of, especially maybe when you have like a background like this where there would tend to be maybe like some elements that might maybe interfere with the text that you have. It's kind of nice to be able to add that glass effect. So it's actually me like, Again, kind of what it looks like without it. And it might be a little tricky to read the team members, but with it, it makes it a little easier to kind of check that out. So so just kind of as a last thing, for the most part, it's really only applicable on containers. You can use it on cell boxes, as we see here. So again, probably not gonna show because there's nothing really to blur necessarily when it's just pure white. But while you can't necessarily do it to like buttons or images, again, if I click here on the image, I can still kind of control the opacity similar like here with this button. I can still kind of like control the background. But if I want to give these elements kind of a glass effect as well, what you can do is you can put them in a container and then just kind of control the opacity a little bit. So here I have this image. Again, if I have it like 100%, you can see this is what the image looks like. You can see there's a glass effect kind of in the container on the back. Let me actually grab the container so I can move this around so we can see what it looks like. 
but now let me choose the image and lower the opacity. So again, kind of interesting if you want to do something like this or if you want to maybe have the image reflect a little bit. I'm going to do it this clear, <laughs> specifically just it can be maybe a little difficult to see. But or again, maybe it depends on the background that you're choosing. I chose this just because it had glass, so I thought it was kind of interesting to use it for this. But again, similarly for a button, I think probably for buttons you want to have contrast, but depending on your use case, it might be kind of interesting to be able to be like, oh, hey, cool, like I can kind of see the background behind this, but the text is still legible enough. So interesting, again, if you want to be able to do things like that. So again, just kind of let me actually remove the container. But you can just kind of add in the elements that you want. Anything that's kind of selected, you can place in a container. Uh, sometimes maybe you might need to center this a little bit. A lot of times they'll tend to add things a little off center. But again, you can do that with images, with containers. And again, you can see then this here, we have that glass effect. So it kind of stands out a little bit more against the background. But yeah, it's kind of the feature. Definitely let me know. I, again, I've seen a lot of designers be using the glass effect, but thankfully now you don't necessarily have to use the CSS. The option is still available there, so that hasn't necessarily been taken away, but just a little easier if you just want to go, okay, well, you know what? Maybe this does look a little bit better with a glass effect. Just enable it, decide the amount of blur that you want. And there you go. Your elements will automatically be updated with it. So pretty cool. Nice little touch, not having to go somewhere and type out the CSS. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Any other questions with it, definitely feel free to comment or reach out to me in the communities. Be more than happy to help that out. So thanks everyone. Bye for now.